Hi, I'm Stephanie, the creative girl behind the designs. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. And if you haven't already done so, I would truly appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification alerts so that you know when I post my next video. <clears throat> so today I'm going to be setting up, albeit late again, uh, my February uh, month, hopefully the month and the monthly pages in my business or work planner, social media planner. And I'll be using a mixture of both Happy Planner stickers from the Watercolor Goals book and um, <clears throat> excuse me, some beautiful flowers, flower, floral stickers from the Functionally Chic Purple Blooms Live Love Posh book, which I just can't get enough of. These are just gorgeous. And then I'm also going to be including probably some watercolor hearts that came out of a Happy Planner book. I just don't know, <clears throat> excuse me, offhand which one it came from. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull out my pages for February. So like I said, I'm hoping to be able to get to both the month, to be able to do the month, as well as my um, page, my monthly dashboard, I should say. So let me go ahead and grab these out. And then I won't, I don't do too much decorating on these pages. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, as you can tell, I'm, I still have a bit of a cough or um, whatnot from being sick a few weeks ago. So uh, I tend not to do a whole lot with these pages in terms of decoration because it's really for me just function so I can task list my day out. Um, so for now, I'm just going to be doing these here. And I do have my, I'll see if I may do that. <clears throat> we'll see how far we get. <laughs> so let me go ahead and pull this off camera. I am going to... Uh, just get my pages all organized over here. <clears throat> so what I wanted to do was keep, um, so if you recall with my business planner, I am using two planners. I have combined the black and gold or gold and black planner with the celestial monthly layout planner. And what I did in advance was I went ahead and I pasted together the February month, the other half of the month, to the dashboard of the Celestial Planner. So <clears throat> I'm going to see if I can find a, a fix for it, but, you know, there's just a slight page um, difference when I put tacked it all down. It just, there's a little bit of glue sticking out, so I need to do something about that. So I'm hoping to be able to fix that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of flip possibly back and forth between this and this so that I make sure I get done what I need to. And so I'm going to start out with, so the hearts are really just for decor um, or like to add in a little bit extra in the, in my, like to fill in and give some Valentine feel to my page. So my watercolor i'm thinking to use potentially some of these like one of these big squares and i was thinking of using <clears throat> these are like washi strips so i'm kind of going with a purpley feel to the planner in the hopes that um i can kind of keep a consistency between the look of my planners I just like to have I don't like to have too jarring a difference between my months month to month or from planner to planner so in in this business planner I only have just the one planner it's my catch-all that carries two planners so let me <clears throat> get started with I think I'm going to need to do I'm gonna have to cut one of these down because I used the longer one at some point and I don't, uh, 
I don't have another one, but I need to kind of fill this whole top edge up here. So let me set that aside. So let's, um, I think I'm going to end up cutting this one to make it all work. So <clears throat> let's see how far I got on this, right? If I use this, yeah, we'll have enough. Perfect. I just kind of want to hide this, but I don't want to cut it because I don't want the page to be that different in size. So I'm just going to go along the very upper edge of the paper. Just really to get that, just to kind of cover that glue that was sticking up because it is a double sided glue and it's super sticky. Let me make sure I got it covered. And then <clears throat> I will um, take this other one. And if, if I have to, I'll just cut it at the end over here. But I think this will work out for my purposes. Although that, I think, yeah, that'll be fine. So let me just get it lined up here. <clears throat> and I want to take it as close to the top as possible. Okay, and then I'll just cut the edge off. Um, and that'll, I'm gonna save this little square though. It may come in handy. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna stick this back in here for now. And then I'm gonna take the smaller square and just to keep balance in the pages, I think I'm gonna bring that down over here. Uh, just to the bottom, the very bottom edge. Get my tweezers. <clears throat> okay. So there's the start. And then, because I intend to use because I'm gonna have kind of two different patterns going on. I found <clears throat> these beautiful floral uh, blooms in the uh, Live Love Posh sticker book. If, I guess if I had my way, I'd probably use it every month. It's, the colors are just so pretty, pretty, love it. But I do have in here, I saw some boxes that I want to use along with the florals. So, where was the one that I was gonna use? Oops, nope. I'm thinking of using this one, because I need it to, it's gonna go on the left side here in my sidebar. So, I am planning on, I'm gonna try and use as many of the um, watercolors, watercolor boxes as I can. That would have been nice if that was in a purple. Um, okay, so I think those were the ones I was mainly looking at box-wise, at least for the monthly page, because everything else has something. Okay, so let's leave that open. <clears throat> and so I'm going to just, because I intend to probably use just about all of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the page out because I know that I'm going to end up using most of them. Although now that I look at it, I might want to see if I can find a, a, um, like a green or a teal box, but we'll see. I'm going to just kind of tuck that off to the side. So for this one, I do have a blank area here and here. So I'm thinking right off, I'm going to take this one here. And the funny thing is, is I mean, I what I do when I'm behind is I end up keeping sheets of paper everywhere with 
the notes of what I've done so that I can get it recorded back in here. But uh, we're coming to the end of the month and I need to get set up for March. So I'm probably going to jump right into that right after this uh, video. I may do another, um, I have a few page ideas I may do first, um, but I'm pretty much going to jump right into March because I don't want to be in the same situation come March. So let me get this one on the corner because it's perfectly squared on the edge. So why not, right? And for the month of my business planner, I will typically uh, use that space for recording um, when I plan to do a blog post, which I'm a bit behind on that as well. It seems like every time I do a video, I think I'm telling you I'm behind. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I feel like, but we're going to get ahead sooner or later. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to put, I saw this one, but I think because of the length, I'm going to need to wipe this out. So let me just get a handy dandy white out. It's going to show through a small bit. So because of that, I may, because sometimes this white out is a bit darker than the the happy planner page so for the moment I think I'm going to use this um, 08 jelly jelly roll pen it's white you can find that on the blog uh, behind the designs dot blog and it's under the hello menu is a drop down menu and it has a shop my post page and if you click there you'll find it so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of gently take some of this off or hide it I should say Let's see. Sometimes it's not enough for me. So let's see if I can get, I'm pretty sure the branch is gonna hit right where that was. So let me just give it a sec to dry. And then I'm gonna put a few boxes down the end. Um, I also have my boxes for in uh, the middle here. And then I have, I'll go jump into quickly the monthly dashboard page so that I can, and then I may jump back. So once I get that set, I'm going to jump into the page. So I may go back and forth a few times. Um, I can see this is still a bit wet. Let's see if I can get it dry. <laughs> the thing I don't know if I mentioned with the jelly roll is they do work really well, especially when I cover lines. Um, it's very precise. The only downfall is it, it isn't always very, um, it doesn't have a lot of coverage. So um, unfortunately, if I stick the sticker down and it's not exactly where it needs to be, it's, or something's not covering that area, it's going to, um, show through but I'm gonna see if I can get it on there so that it something's covering that so that it's not so noticeable and I'm just gonna take another whoops took the paper with it I'm gonna get another floral that seems to be on a border edge and I'm gonna put that in there oops. okay so I think if I've done this right, the branch may go right over that. So let's see. Oops. Yeah, it's it's going to be really close. Oh. Um, I think it'll be good enough. I mean, a lot of the times with my business planner anyway, it's really about function for me. It's really close. You pretty much don't even see it. And I love that the stickers are see-through because I'm not overly worried that it covered Sunday and that there's a little bit of the F uh, covered. I'm not worried about that. Again, for my business planner, it's purely about function. All right. And I just stuck that to my desktop. <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay, so I really am loving these purple florals. 
It's not an exact match to the uh, washi strips that I used, but it's pretty close. Um, and as I look at it, I wish I had covered this line up, but that's okay. Again, it's purely function. So let me just tuck that back there. Now I want to put on the side here a few boxes because I do use the um, the sidebar here in my main planner. Let me pull out actually the Live Love Posh book because she also has with her stickers, which I truly appreciate, she has matching boxes. Um, so I'm going to see if I can find one that is in the shade and size that I'm looking for. And um, uh, I think there's long other longer ones somewhere. No, maybe. Okay, so these are the long ones, but they are slightly different in color. So what I think I'm going to do is I am going to, let me do a quick search again and see if there's a, a purple watercolor that has maybe some more teal in it. I don't remember seeing that, but maybe I missed it. Um, this is a really good color. I just don't want the pink on it. So let's see. Um, and the box has to be going a certain way if I choose that style. So this one I actually needed. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull that out now. And this one I was going to use. That one I knew for sure. But also, again, I wish I had this, um, these headers in, although maybe I can do, let's see. Um, I'm gonna use, let's see, I got gold on here and there's, there's really not a teal. Nope, okay. Let me keep going. Um, these are too big for the area that I want. And I don't know that this book has any teal. But let me... Um, I can modify some of these as well. Um, but I don't need a tracker on my... On my um, monthly page. So the other thing I'm going to do is add in some of these to kind of make it um, match with the other ones. But that, that'll be later. Okay, so I think that's it in terms of the boxes. So let me do this. I have the plan in today. So let me get this one over here for the plan because this is going to be first and I'm going to put it just below the uh, floral that I had up here because I'm going to, I think, put another little floral on it uh, at the bottom of it. I kind of want to border the boxes with some florals. Okay. And then this one is going to go, I think what I need is, I don't want to cover that. So, let's see. Oh, you know what? I just realized this week is Mardi Gras week and uh, the colors are pretty, pretty well matched. Okay. I'm talking to myself. Sorry about that. So let's see. I think I'm going to go ahead and since, is this cornered out? Is this going to fit? All right. It's actually going to cover the numbers. So what I'm going to do is put this over here. It'll be for the first, but I don't want to cover the number because I don't want to renumber the page. It's actually larger than the squares, which is frustrating. 
Okay, so I think I got that in there okay. Let's see. Yep, okay. So now what I need to do, I'm gonna keep these out because as I said, I, I think I want to um, border a few of these boxes. Let me grab one of the, now I can go to one of the smaller boxes here because <clears throat> I felt like the colors maybe matched a little bit better than these colors. So, because I'm gonna need um, a few of these small ones too. So I think overall I'm gonna take this middle one. So let's take one of these I need for the sidebar. And I'm going to take, um, it's not a lot of room, so let me take, I'm just gonna use these smaller ones here. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna give it some spacing because I do think I want a header on here. Oh, she has headers too, so let me see what she has before I put anything down so I make sure I give myself enough room. So we're looking at possibly doing, I thought I saw headers. I know there's headers. I must have passed them or I was sure I saw them. Where did they go? Maybe they're in the front more. There they go. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of these headers so that I already have it labeled, the box. Oop, too far over. So let's see, we have what? Notes, appointment, next week. And then we have, those are days, get it done. Yes, I definitely want to use priorities, okay? So I'm going to get that down before I put my box down. Oh no! See, I go too fast and I rip them. I do it all the time. That's a shame. I love these stickers. All right, let's try this again. There we go. So let me get this one down for my second box. And then I'm going to go back to the watercolor book to pull out um, a quote. So I'm going to put this, I just want it flush up against there. I always just put them down and I hope they're flush. <laughs> so I'm going to take now a quote from here. I saw, I think it was in the back, towards the back, I should say. So I always like to try and include um, sort of a, a quote or something inspirational on my uh, page. This, oh, you know what? It has the pink in it. I'll think about that then. Okay. Um, Where's the quotes? And I'm definitely going to throw a few hearts in here too. My quotes are here somewhere. Um, only because when I look in there, I do always actually pay attention to my quotes. And I choose them for a purpose or a reason. So I definitely always like to make sure that there's one in there. One or two even, two or even better. And I'm also going to get some florals on here, but let's see. There's happy plans, choose to shine, hooray for the weekend. I thought I saw another one. There's another happy plans. And then I think my more favorite books of all the happy planner books are the ones that have the quotes in them. So I... I wonder if I have enough room down here. I think what I'm gonna do, <laughs> hooray for the weekend. Let's see, choose to fly, choose to shine or happy, happy plans. 
Um, I do like Embrace the Journey, but it's actually going to be too big. But I could put it here. And I wouldn't want the pink heart. Let me see if I can get this in there because I do need to cut the pink heart out because I want to do purple. So that I just have to do a little doctoring up on the sticker. And hopefully it works because once I cut it off, <laughs> there's no changing my mind. So here we go. Let me put this back on here. I will use it somewhere else. Now let me see if this is going to fit where I was thinking. Which I was kind of hoping here. And it's not looking like it's going to fit. So let me go back over here. And it's really too big. But... I'm not going to give up on it, only because I do have a big box in the monthly dashboard that I can use it on. So I'm just going to try and gently get this back on here so that I don't uh, ruin it in any way. Get it generally in its area. Okay, so let me just go back to my original plan, which was to do... Happy plans, but I think I want to do it as this because it has the uh, same symbols in it. And then I can just tuck this off to the side or below. Uh, I think, I, I just feel like it's getting crowded over there. So I think what I want to do is put it over here. just at the very bottom. And to keep with the um, not having covered this side up, I'm not gonna cover up under there either. Okay, so let me go grab some flowers here. There's actually a few, it's almost teal. I may use those just to give it a little dimension. So I'm gonna take a few flowers and I do want to, I really wanna flower this up. What if I did this? Yeah, let's do that. I don't know that that's the way it goes, but that's the way I'm gonna put it. That's too big. So I think I'm just gonna kind of turn this one and put it at the bottom. That seems to fit perfectly in that area. All right. I remember to be careful not pull too fast on these. So let's see if I can get this to fit. And even if it goes over onto the box, I'm okay with that. Oops, I don't want it to stick down though before I'm ready. I think. So this one has, although it's only a little bit, let me see if I can do it this way better. You know, sometimes you do things and you think of things, but then in your head it doesn't really work out very well. Um, that's not quite looking like I had hoped it would look. I feel like it's a little too crowded. So let me put that back. And let me go back to my flowers. And let's pull out uh, just a smaller one. I actually want to take this really small one see if I can get that over here because this is a really small space okay and then what I can do is I can put the other one that would have to, no that doesn't look right um, where is the one I'm looking for I thought I, unless I had the paper wrong. I'm just having one of those off days, it seems. Um, yeah, I did not like that there. So let's just take the one that looks similar. And there was another box, but I don't want to crowd up the sidebar too much with the boxes. Is today Friday? I feel like I'm struggling. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, there it is. And this one, because I, I bent the paper every which way, I just want to make sure I don't rip it. Okay. And I will probably add some more on, some more florals on here. Um, but for right now, this is what I want to do. So because that one is up there, I kind of just want to mimic it on the bottom as well. But I don't want to, I think I'm going to cut this just so that I can get the, so I can kind of just highlight that space as opposed to have it like flow over into the box. So let's just do this. Today's apparently the struggle bus. Let's see. And if the floral part goes over a little, I'm not too worried about that. All right. So I do have a spot here. I'm thinking of a quote at the moment, but for now, what I'm going to do is just add in some teal. I think I'm going to go for teal in this. Just because it feels like it's like a little bit different than the rest and I think I need to add some florals up there so let me go ahead throw some in here and uh, I'm gonna put another floral up in this corner all right I'm gonna do just two over here and then before I go too far, I want to put a small floral, perfect, in this upper corner just to give it some balance. I don't think I'm grabbing these where they need to be. And that's why I'm struggling to get them off. <laughs> some days you just have to laugh at how difficult the smallest things can be. Okay, I got it started. Let's not rip it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this up here. I'm going to do the same thing, I think, and I'm going to cut it lengthwise. All right, and I'm going to put that right in this upper corner here. Again, it covers Saturday a little, but I'm not worried because you really can see through them. They really don't cover them that much. So I do want to add, I feel like this is off in this corner up here. I need to add another one. No. Okay. And then I'm just going to trim that. It did flow over, right? Okay. All right. So I do want to add some more of this um, pattern in the month. But at the moment, I'm, I'm going to hold off on that. Because what I want to do is um let me take a peek through um oops yes that was the one i was gonna use okay so let me set that aside and let me move on because i don't want to not get this started so i'm gonna flip the page I'm going to come over to my monthly dashboard and I'm going to start decorating this because um, this really is the hub of everything I do for the month. So I definitely don't want to go too long without being able to fill it in because I'm, I'm finding I'm a bit off track for this month. So I want to make sure that um, I get back where I need to be. So I'm going to be using 
always some boxes. And let me get out my Live Love Posh again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to my habits. I'm gonna try and start from the left, go right. And I need some thinner boxes. These here. So I know a lot of the times, you know, you can, you really can just edit out the videos. And, but I don't always feel that mine are so terribly long or, or filled with, today may have been a different story. It's a bit of a struggle bus, but um, I don't feel like it's a, a deal breaker for me to edit out a whole lot. Um, granted, it would have been nice to have it go a little more smoothly, but you know, sometimes that's just the way it is. Um, and I've learned to just work with it. And so what I'm gonna do, there is an area here I can do, um, I can do one of two things. I can, one of three things. I can leave it the way it is, or I can put a box over it, or even still, I could take my purple mild liner double ended brush and I could also just color this in. I like the headers to be highlighted. Um, so I but for me I'm gonna use the boxes, at least for this month, mostly because I, I do like that it matches. And I'm gonna try and get them as lined up as possible with the other box. So that they're not too different. Like this is this one isn't totally centered, so I want to make sure my other boxes stay within that same uh, same la uh, same spacing, I should say. So let's see. And then what I typically do, I did something different in January. Then I think I'll be doing over here in February. So. I had used these spaces for doing uh, Instagram and uh, the group engagement, which is the Creative Planning Expressions group. Um, and then I think I did journaling. I think for this month, I'm going to eliminate journaling and put in something else. Let me put this back. So again, you know, was your plan when you plan your, your month out, whether you're planning personal or business, the point of planning is that you're going to use what you think is going to work for you and then you modify each month if you need to. And then, you know, what if you happen to by chance find that system that works perfectly in exactly the same way, well then that's good news. Then you're all set. But for a lot of us we don't it doesn't come that easily or we just feel like we want to change or um, you know, something of that nature. So what I want to do over here, oh, you know what? I want to leave that, I'm going to leave it as goals because I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do a box, another box. And I'm going to incorporate some of the Florals. I think I want to use this one. Um, I don't want it too big. So I want, is this the same quote as it was last? So I think these quotes are different from month to month. So for February it says, believe you can and you're halfway there. So I kind of really liked the quotes for when it came to, you know, when I think about my, my business and my blog. So what I think I want to do is use this little one here. Because again, there's a whole other page of stickers I can use. Let me try and get this off with another sticker on my finger. And sometimes, you know, you start putting something down and then it doesn't look right. And, and then you just change it. That's the beauty of doing, you know, planning this way is that when you have stickers that are removable, it's perfect. Because then you can just plan how you need to. And worry about the rest later. You know, just pull it back up if it doesn't work. Um, 
I was originally thinking I was going to do something like this, but that doesn't look right to me. But I do like the idea of it because this area here, I do bullet points. So I will use my, oh, I stuck it on the paper. Okay, I will use my uh, Zig Dotter. And now that I'm bringing up my Zig Dot, I gotta show you something. Let me get this down. I think I need to put a smaller one because there's um, not a lot of space there. And I do like to really be detailed about my goals for the month. So I'm gonna bring this one down here because this area is you know what, I have the month page under here and I need to move that because if I stick it to that, I won't be happy. <laughs> so let me get this one down here. And I'm just going to kind of put it on as if it's coming off the page. And then I'm going to oh, get, um, there was, there was. Hold on one second. I got a few things I want to show you, but before I stick this box down, I need to see if there was any, I thought I saw them and I just want to double check. Yes. Oh, but these are all bullets. That's okay. All right. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a, yes, this is lighter. Let me take this one. I don't think there's a teal in here. Let me take one of these. I want to edge the top of this box with it. Oop, can't use my paper clip or my tweezers. They have a sticker on it. Just trying to get my uh, okay then I'm going to take this box and I feel like I should go darker I wish I had a teal box but I didn't let me do this oops I want to do it this way okay I don't like how it's, I think I'm gonna give myself some space in here and I'm going to just um, not put one there. I think I'm just gonna put the title along the edge. So this one is going to go over here. When I do my monthly spread in my business planner, it usually just involves a bunch of boxes because I like to track things in it. But what I need to do next is, since I am going to be putting a box here, I need to cover this a bit because it is dark. So let me, I'm, for this I'm going to use my whiteout tape. Just to make sure I get a good coverage on it. Oops, too soon. Okay. And then I'm going to use a slightly wider box. So that is going to be, and then I'm going to also get some florals on there. That is in here. I'm going to use All right. I'm going to use this box. I think there was a thinner box. You know what? I want to use a thinner box. I just want to save space if I can, just because I do write a lot. Let's put that back. Let me grab this smaller box here. Okay. I'm also just going to set this one along the top, but I'm going to go to the edge. Or you know what, I'm going to put a flower there, never mind. Box is covered. 
Let's do it to here. You know, some days planning is a breeze. Other days it just seems like it's a struggle. Um, it's not always like that. It just feels like it today. Okay, so before we go any further, let me go back to my zig. I want to show you something. I saw, and I now have it on the um, on the blog under the hello page, shop my posts. Um, there is the, I'm going to do with this one first. There is this product. Okay, so this first dot, if you can see it, let's see. So this is a purple metallic, it's called Violet, Zig Clean Dot, Clean Color Dot. Let me show you how pretty this is. I don't know if you're even going to be able to see it on camera. Oh, you can't really, I don't know if you're really going to be able to see it. But I don't, I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but it's really pretty really pretty um so if you want to add like a little bit of a dimension to your when you dot your pages uh, i would recommend that i love the zig dotter anyway so i'm a little biased in that respect so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut one of these flowers i'm looking at what flowers i have left and i'm thinking i'm going to be able to get through the whole month and month page with two of them which, or sorry, with just one sheet. So I'm gonna cut this flower this way because I want, I'm just gonna cover up this uh, little bit of uh, white out tape. And then I'm just going to use, that covers it up a bit. And then I'm gonna use this possibly here. I'm just kind of covering covering spaces and then also adding in some floral boxes. Okay, so let me move on to the other side because I am getting on in time. And I've you spoke and I have listened and I completely understand when I wasn't finishing my pages on camera for you. So I'm going to do that today. Um, so what I have left now is the other half of my month. So what I do over here is I generally, so far, I have been tracking my goals that I had set and then I kind of itemized my steps. So again, I'm just going to cover this up because I'm not going to use this dark box and actually lose my paper here. Let me uh, put this paper under here. I don't want to get it on my desktop. And all I'm going to do is um, get some boxes in here. And then I go back and I fill in the steps that I feel I need to take to finish my uh, goal for that month. Either that month or um, the steps that I feel I need to take to accomplish that goal for the month. So for this, I'm going to find, I need, let's see, three, so I'm back to my boxes, which I don't mind. Um, last time I did three separate boxes, probably this size, but that's too small. So I also like to make sure I give myself enough space to do what I need to. Oop, is there any more? Let me just make sure there's there's a big one, but that's not what I'm looking for. Okay. So I'm going to come back to these. I'm just going to stick with the theme and and keep those boxes um, in the in the mix. So what I want to do though over here is I want to use. Now I'm on this goal as I'm doing this video. Can I use all the stickers in one sheet <laughs> on one? See, and I ripped it. Sometimes it's a challenge to try and do that. Let me see if I can still get it on here. 
Um, I will put my boxes over it. So where did I rip it up here? If, yeah, I don't think it'll be too bad. So I'm just going to pop this over here. Again, I just want to keep, so see, here's where I've ripped it. It's not terrible. Um, it fit back in there. Let me just make sure it's lined up. So it's minimized. So let's take my scissors. I'll cut this off. I'm still going to, even though I kind of cut it, I'm still going to hold on to it. Because sometimes those extra pieces that I take off are pieces that I might add into those task pages here. Just, you know, to give it something. Um, let's see. Sometimes I just grab too much of the paper. One more. Okay. I am, I got stickers sticking to me everywhere. Okay, so over here I need to have three boxes. So there's three areas that I focus on for my um, blog goals for the year. And so I always want to head, header, put headers for those in here. And I'm going to use, to do that, these small boxes. Here we go. So I'm going to use these to put in my headers. I'm actually going to start on the opposite side since that I'm going to be covering some of that, which is a shame. But uh, maybe could I do it this way? Less intrusive. Yeah, it'd be shameful to to cover that in its entirety. So let's see, I need three. Maybe I'll stagger them. I think what I'll do is I am going to stagger my boxes. I think I'm gonna do a little bit different this month. Um, last month it worked, so the concept I think is there. And so I think this, I'm gonna stick with the same idea I'm just going to do it slightly different this month. And especially because I don't want to cover that, so I'm just going to end up staggering these. I just need three boxes. And, and then what I'll do is once I finish, hopefully I can get them in the way I want it. Once I finish, I will go through and just kind of give you an overview of the different areas and what I do in those areas. Um, just so you can kind of see how I'm planning and what my month might typically look like. I Last year, again, I was doing so many different uh, um, planners. I kept trying different systems and, and it kind of just really went south fast. So this year I'm trying to use one system and um, find the function that works and, and just kind of tweak it as I go along. And so far this seems to be working, so I'm gonna kind of stick with that. So I need one more box, but I did, oh, I do have one more, okay. I'm just gonna have to change it slightly as I write in them, I think, um, which isn't a problem. So I need to make sure that I leave enough room for the box, the big box. Let me pull that off. And let me get that down because I think I may end up covering a little bit of it. And then I'm gonna use this um, area on the right for a quote. All right, so I may cover it just a smidge, but that's okay. So I'm gonna put this one here. Oh, it worked out perfect. 
Okay. So I am going to add a few floral edges. Where is, oh, here it is. I knew there was a smaller one. Now the other thing at the end of every uh, month, let me check quickly before I say that. I'm looking at, so there is. Oh, there isn't. Never mind. I was thinking, I wanted to, because I did this last year. I did, um, at the end of the planner for the month, there were two facing pages that had. Um, just, it was line space you can use, and I use, was thinking of using it for what worked, what didn't, and I was thinking of using the florals there, but, um, in the end, it won't actually work because that's not in this particular planner this year. Okay, I'm really getting on in the time, so I'm going to try and finish this up. All right, and then I knew for a fact that I was going to use the one I, the very first one I chose. Last month I covered this whole area up with a sticker, and this month I, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to put this at the bottom. And then I'm going to do a few hearts in here in the teal I am also going to take this floral if I can get it off and then because I don't want this to be bare I'm going to Kind of just cut this in half and I'm going to put oops, this half here and then I'm going to come back up here and do this half here. Let me just toss on a few um, hearts, and then I'm gonna just quickly go over, uh, this is probably the longest video I've done since I've started doing it, so, um, but I did absolutely wanted to make sure that I finished my page for you. So I'm gonna put one here. And I'll add a few more of these hearts here and there. Put one here. Okay. I'm not going to fill that in too much with um, hearts for you. So let me just quickly go over this. So what I do is I will um, take, so over here are going to be my habits. Let me just show you how I structure. I have Instagram, uh, content for creative planning, expressions group, and then I think I'm going to add in here Facebook, the page, because I have been not so great at getting that something posted there. Over here is where I list out with my Zig Dotter the goals I want to accomplish for the month. Here in my checkoff, I, um, I use this area as sort of the steps to the goals that I had planned um, or the more most important things that I need to remember to get done. And that's what goes there. What goes here is my newsletter information, my plans for it. What goes here is Pinterest, remembering to try and do a pin or two. And then in these three boxes I use to put, I have three goals, three main goal areas for the year. 
And so over here, I just kind of keep track of uh, maybe it might be a tickler is what, it, what it's for, um, what it is, um, its purpose, uh, steps maybe, again, notes. I'll jot down for each of those three areas. I will be adding a quote possibly here. Here, as it is just as its title, I'm trying to use the titles that are given um, and try and really just make this functional but decorate it a bit. So over here is just gonna be truly top priorities I need to accomplish for the month. And then over here, as I said last month, it was covered with an entire sticker, but this month it's open. So I don't exactly have a plan at the moment yet for what I will be doing with it. But um, that is my business planner in a snapshot. And then here's my month, which I will be adding in. Um, this is kind of my, my plan, my dashboard plan, where I will go through and kind of plan out what I intend to post where. A lot of the times I use post-it notes until it actually has occurred because sometimes things happen and you just don't get it done. So um, this will be filled with post-it notes and then I will fill it in as I go along in the month. And then that is my February work planner. And I'm just gonna pop these pages back in. And then that pretty much ends my uh, video for today. It is super long, more than I wanted it to be. But um, sometimes you just gotta do it, right? And I hope that you hung in with me long enough to see the end result in my planner and that um, it has uh, given you some ideas for your planner. So that's it for now. And thank you for watching. I hope I've inspired you to do something creative every day and to create your beautiful life one plan at a time. Thank you for watching.